Hey Gemini, hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for the future between you two. It's kind of just a, a check-in, you know, with the current person that of interest or this is just whoever is on your mind in general. That's who we're pulling on, okay? So, um... I do have personals open. There are three different options. Details are in the description box for anyone who is interested. Okay, Jim and I, let's go ahead and start here. Figure out what we got going on for you, okay? What do we have for Jim and I here? We're going to look at the current energy. What's going on in the current energy between you and this individual? Two of Swords. A little bit of standoff energy. Could be somebody who has their moon in Libra. King of Pentacles. Could be somebody that you're well established with. If that's not the case, it could be somebody at work. Um... It could be somebody in the workplace here who's a little bit standoffish with you, okay? And the King of Wands, all right? You could be caught between two people as well. you got two kings here. Um, I've got Leo Energy. I've got Taurus. I've got Moon in Libra. It could be Moon in any of those signs or Sun in any of those signs for that matter. Um, but there's a lot of attraction here. You may not know what to do with it. Let's see. Or there's a lot of duty and obligation here in a connection and you don't know how to go how to go forward here when you have no desire. So let's see. This person's feelings and intentions. The person of interest, their feelings and intentions. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. They plan to fight for this. Somebody plans to fight for this. You've got the uh, Five of Wands here. So that's a fight. It's a challenge. I'm going to accept it. Eight of Pentacles. This is going to be my main focus. Six of Pentacles I'm going to give to this. I'm going to give to this. So you're challenging a person is how this is feeling to me. Um, you know, you may be showing, uh, like you may be kind of, see the thing is with twos, I can sometimes talk about an energy of like mirroring, you know, so it could be that somebody didn't really put in effort and, you know, so you mirrored that energy and now they're wanting to put in effort. It could be something like that here. Um, but yeah, this person wants to give to this. They're accepting some kind of challenge. They may feel... There may be two people here kind of going back and forth over you, Gemini. Let's see what we got. Um, let's see what we got here for the outcome. All right. A Pisces might be involved here. You got two Pisces cards. Um, maybe a Leo or somebody with Mars and Leo or Mars and Pisces. Seven of Wands. I almost feel like you're kind of shutting this energy out. Like it almost seems like you're just shutting, you're shutting out love or you're shutting out this energy in general. Um, so it's almost like it's odd because this is showing up as your interest, but it seems like you're not interested. Uh, it seems like you're not interested. It seems like you're getting a lot of people courting you here with the uh, hangman showing up. You'll be getting a lot of attention. You're not really sure what to do with it or what boundaries to express. You're not really sure what boundaries you should have moving forward here or what decision to make. Um, anything else showing up for Gemini here? Any clarity they might need on this? Queen of Swords, be open, be honest. Um, you know, if there's a situation here where there's a fight or, you know, no passive aggressive energy with the Queen of Swords, be open, be honest. Um, you got the Hermit showing up as well. Yeah, I mean, you can still reflect on things and observe them from outside of the situation. That's something that's being advised as well. You might be involved with the Virgo or Libra here, but, you know, with that Hermit showing up, they could be asking you to kind of um, observe the situation from outside of it. Um, you can still learn from it, even if you're, even if that's something that you're doing. You don't have to be wrapped up in it at all times, Gemini, in order to uh, figure out what you're supposed to figure out, okay? Be open, be honest in the star okay make sure you're working on your healing as well no like no numbing yourself no shutting everything down shutting everything out um you know it's it's complicated i feel like you have to have balance with both of those things like um you know because on one hand i feel like some of you may be kind of like numbing this or doing something to numb it and i think that on the other hand some of you may be so wrapped up in it that you don't know which way is up you know um but being open and honest is key here and accepting and accepting that from others because there's somebody here who's trying to be open and honest with you, um, you know, to bring about some kind of healing. It doesn't mean it has to be a new beginning, but it, it could, you know, that clarity could bring you some healing here is how this is looking to me. Um, and whether or not there's like a new opportunity here would be up to the two of you. So I got Aquarius energy with that star as well. Uh, that's what I'm seeing here for you, Gemini. I hope it was helpful. It's kind of all over the place, but kind of crazy, uh, specific with the, with the, <laughs> all the court cards here. Um, there could just be multiple people involved or multiple people all up in, in your business, you know? Um, but that's what I'm saying. I do have personals open. Details are down below, but if this is where we part, thank you all for watching this far. I really appreciate you and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.